So following on from the previous video, I want to integrate each of these by reversing the chain rule. So the first one I've got cosine of x times sine to the 7x uh, dx. So if I looked at sine to the 8x and I differentiated that, then I would get 8. So the 8 would come down. The derivative of what's inside is cosine x. That would come out. And I'd be left with 8 cosine uh, of x times sine to the 7x. Uh, not plus c, because I'm not integrating. OK, so 8 cosine of x sine to the 7x. So I've actually got 1 eighth of what I need. So this will be 1 eighth of sine to the 8x plus c. So that differentiates to that. OK? Right, let's keep going. So number two, we've got sine of x times cos cubed of x dx. So what I would be expecting is to get a cosine to the 4x. So if I differentiate that, I'm going to get 4 coming out to the front. Now the derivative of cosine is minus sine. So there'll be a minus sine there. So if I give myself a little bit more space, so there'll be a minus 4 sine x, and then drop 1 from the power for the cosine. So I've actually got minus a quarter of what I need. So that would be minus 1 quarter cosine 4 of x. Oh, sorry, not dx. I keep on making that mistake, plus c. OK, so that's uh, number 2. Right. Number 3. OK, number 3. Cos 2x times sine to the 5, 2x. All right, so I would be expecting to get a sine 2x uh, to the power of 6 there. OK, so if I were to differentiate that with respect to x, what would I get? Well, I've got the 6 going to come down to the front. Now I've got the derivative of sine 2x, the function that's inside. So that would be 2 cosine 2x. And then I'm going to drop 1 from the power of the sine 2x. So that gives me 12 cosine 2x sine to the 5 2x. So I've actually got 1 12th of what I need there. So that's 1 12th of sine to the 6 2x plus c. OK, that's number 3. Right, last one, number four. Um, we've got minus three sine of a half x times cos of a half x square rooted. So I would expect to get cosine of a half x to the three halves. And I'm going to differentiate that because that's one added to the power. So let's see what we get. So I'm going to have the three halves coming down to the front. I've got the derivative of what's inside coming outside. So that would be minus one half sine of a half x. And then I'm going to drop a power, one from the power for the cos half x. Like so. So the 3 halves multiplies with the minus a half to give me minus 3 quarters sine of a half x cosine of a half x to the half. Now I've actually got minus 3 out here. Okay, So if I do minus 3 divided by minus 3 quarters, okay, so minus 3 divided by minus 3 quarters, gets me 4. Okay, so this should be 4 uh, lots of cosine half x to the power of 3 halves plus c, because that should differentiate to this, because if I multiply this by 4, um, I will get to that. Okay, so that is how we can deal with trigonometry and reversing the chain rule.